I enjoyed this day very much. I mean, I, I was quite impressed by, by the skills of these uh, students, the way they participated in uh, the discussions, how freely they, uh, they asked questions, and also the entire environment was just pleasant. It was wonderful. This was the nine months progress report that uh, means that all of the students in this uh, program present, uh, especially uh, their first project, but in some of the cases uh, there are some second or even third projects uh, in a relatively advanced phase. Um, so of course, um, uh, presenting uh, throughout the three days, it's uh, you know uh, quite challenging to, to listen all these presentations and uh, and actively listening, uh, and then making questions right after the presentation. Uh, so it might be a little bit challenging for the audience as well, for the chairs as well, and uh, of course uh, for the students. Well, actually this is the way we can improve ourselves and um, even though sometimes we think that it's too much and why do we have to, to perform the same um, uh, project, but actually it is not because every single time, even though we know, uh, we know everyone here and we know our project, we still are nervous, we still get the goosebumps, so I think it's, um, of course, this program is focused on uh, building our career, um, so next to uh, learning about different methodologies and uh, learning about uh, how to make a meta-analysis, it's also really important to master the stage. I think the discussion part is, is a great part in the whole progress report because there are lots of people who we are not working with uh, in, uh, in an everyday basis, so uh, they are more an objective uh, side of, uh, of the whole part, so they can give us ideas or question some parts that we weren't thinking about. I think it's a good thing for the presenter as well, if you are asking before your presentation, you can hear your voice, you can have your uh, first shock of adrenaline and after you can present better if you ask. Speaking in Hungarian, that's easy, but we have to understand the language of medicine and language of science outside is English and we have to be partner uh, to those who are native English speakers and that's not easy. So that's why I think it's very, very important that not only their scientific part should be perfect, but their linguistic, their linguistic part should be good enough to, to be able to communicate and to be able to discuss even difficult questions and difficult, difficult topics. And this is a kind of a very accepting environment. So I think that this is an ideal place to get difficult questions. Uh, this is how they should start, even if they are only first year PhD students, and then they will get even much better. However, they were very good even today. I think my English is better after these nine months, and uh, during this period, I learned a lot about writing an article, reading the international literature, so it's a very good opportunity to all of us who are working as a specialist to take part in this program. Currently what we can see is that the number of international students are growing. In the first year we had approximately uh, 8 to 10 foreign students, in year 2 we had almost 20 and now we are going for the forthcoming year over 20. So it seems that our international visibility is tremendously growing and many international universities including Asia but also we have huge number of students from Europe especially from the neighbors countries they can see that this program has really really a high efficacy and the students who are here and present their data actually they are much much better than the others who are 
uh, attending an ordinary program which is not as uh, structured as this one. I came here to learn. We have a very different PhD program in Galway in Ireland. Our students are full-time for four years and quite often they're in basic science projects that have quite limited application into the clinical situation. So I was very intrigued to be able to see how the mechanics, the, the logistics of being able to get this to work and it's quite an achievement to be able to have such a large and vibrant community of students but the support that's there. That's the key thing that I can see is so valuable is the infrastructure of people that are there to be able to help the students in this critical first year which is kind of like a hothouse where they're learning lots of new techniques and then that they're able to continue um, into their years when they have more of a clinical burden that they're able to continue to proceed with their studies. The purpose of an SMS as a mean stands for Systematic Methodologic Supervisor. So we are there for our students to provide them mainly with guidance on the methodology. Guidance on how, for especially in the first year, how to construct their first meta-analysis systematic review, how to, how to construct the right um, research question and then follow up with the proper, the proper you know, concept of the selection, also the data extraction, so all the methodological aspects behind the meta-analysis. Here in this program we get a lot of help. First of all, this every week uh, meetings uh, we have uh, some, some some pressure, but uh, it, it helps us to 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 try to improve our skills and uh, and the whole environment are built to 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 help us and to 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 go further and and to to reach our goals easier or faster. This program is quite uh, impressive. I, I think that the greatest value is that these uh, trainees learn how to critically evaluate scientific data. They learn how scientific data are generated. And I think that even if they, in their later life, do not become researchers, they will be a lot better physicians. I came here uh, in, in September um, as uh, being alone and not knowing uh, anybody in this program. I was a bit like, oh, what I'm looking here. But uh, uh, I can say that uh, I find here not just um, uh, colleagues but also friends and uh, we cooperate together, we're helping each other and if I get stuck then I can call them and it's really a protective and supportive uh, community. I heard about this program and now I can see how it works and uh, I I'm, I'm really surprised and impressed because I see so many young people uh, doing the research and starting their professional careers. So, so I, I wish the, all the best, and I think it's going to be very good. Mm -hmm.